Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. So it's been a while since I record any video about e-bike. So today I took the Derwin bike for a ride and I will do the review on it. So let me get close to the bike and give you more information. All right, so as a first look you would notice there's no battery because the battery is built in, in the frame. And for this reason, many people ask me when they see me on this bike if it's electric bike. Of course, yes, it is electric bike. You can see big motor on the back, 750 watt power. This bike comes with a 180 millimeter double brakes, okay, and they're hydraulic brakes, which works really good in the mountains, off road, or anywhere, because with uh, hydraulic brakes, uh, like it's by brand Logan. You don't have to press that hard, it's much softer and it breaks really good. There's no squeak, it does not make any noises much as uh, regular brakes, very quiet. This bike comes also with a rack, it's included, which is really strong. It comes with a protection over here for derailleur and it saved my bike actually. Uh, last time when I was in the hills, the bike fall on the side because of strong wind. You can see some scratches over here. It's fall on this side. You can see probably scratch over here, but nothing happened to the bike. I thought I, I broke it some way, but thanks God, everything good. So this bike comes with a seven speed. Okay. And the Shimano seven speed. It's a pretty good, it's a Altus. The things I noticed, Every single bike I open and start to ride out of the box, uh, the shifter always needs to be adjusted, otherwise you will skip. And with this bike particular, never adjust anything, it works perfectly out of the box. Almost everything other than brakes are a little bit adjusted when I put the front tire wheel in, I adjust it a little bit. It's very simple, just to recenter the brakes. That's all I did. The seat is pretty comfortable for longer ride as well. It's not the softest seat, but it's comfortable. So controller is hidden behind over here in a very good, I think it's aluminum, maybe plastic uh, box, which is um, should be safe because as you can see the guard going all the way down. And when I rode this bike, in uh, after rain in a uh, mud it was pretty clean so it will not really damage your controller when you're in rain most likely because it's hidden really nicely over here and uh, the building battery actually really nice also you have a key for your battery the battery I like it right here uh, there is a small button over here you can press and see uh, if the battery is charged without turning on the bicycle it will be turned green and you need a key in order to remove it you just uh, insert the key twist it and the battery will pop out like this and you just pull it out and remove it easily up the battery is actually pretty big i think it's weight about nine pounds it's uh, in aluminum frame so it's a aluminum box and it's pretty solid uh, charge the battery at home if you want to because the charging port right here so you can charge it at home like uh, by removing the battery you probably can order another battery if you need for a longer distance so you just put it back twist it and it stays there very well uh, the things i don't like about uh, the stand it comes with a stand as most of the electric bicycle because they're heavy, they need a stand. Uh, the stand located on this side and it's on the middle, probably in, in order to hold this heavy bike. But when you're going pedal backward, it's not bothering, but once you open it up, your pedal will hit it always. So it will be always on the way when you want to pull the bicycle backward. There's something I don't like. Some bicycle have this hold over here, but I think it's uh, because a heavy bicycle needs this type of design. Okay. This bicycle also comes uh, for options to attach the bottle 
on the frame. Also, you can attach easily front rack if you need one. It comes a really nice big uh, light, which is one of the biggest I saw on the electric bicycle in this type, like almost like motorcycle. The Driven Bike Pioneer comes with a wider handlebar, as you can see, pretty wide. The display, and we're on the sun right now, it might be harder to see on the camera, but I never have any problem to see wherever on display. I also want to show you how the display actually works. Um, when you use a throat, for example, uh, first you have five pedal assist mode. Right now it's off. The first one is echo, then the second it's a low, and then normal. So it gives you uh, how much um, power it can up. But also you will see a voltage over here as well, uh, odometer reading and the trip. Uh, let's say your throat actually will be working up to the maximum anytime. So let me show you how the throat, once you getting speed, so basically you will see this line going up. And once it reached certain speed, you will get a big uh, screen. So you will see exactly how much you are riding and it will illuminate all the small details. And it's pretty unique actually for this type of display. And I love the percentage because it will give you very accurate numbers. Uh, I compare it to other one and I like the percentage because it will give you exactly uh, how much battery left. When you have a bars, sometimes the bars can uh, show like four bars and then a few miles later it can be dead completely so um, you can switch from one to five also it does have a special uh, walking mode when you press this button and hold it it will engage in walking mode and walking mode actually it's very helpful it'll go about two miles okay while while you holding the button and I'll show you example I use this. Okay, now I'm in walking mode. You just press the low R and it'll be in walking mode. So it will help you to go to uphill like this. It's a really hill, I didn't want to ride here. The first time I'm walking with the bike. And the walking mode actually helps to walk uphill. Wow, it's a nice option. And I love this bike because for the stability, you can ride safely on any conditions in the mountains, as you can see, uh, because uh, this bike is full size, the fat tires really give you good stability on the hill area like this, for example, and because this bike have a lot of power and uh, 26 inch wheels, it's very easy to get like this hill up. Uh, previously I rode a different bike with fat tires and I couldn't make it here because I was afraid to slide and this bike just going anywhere easily. Another thing I noticed the fork. On this bicycle the fork travel about 100 millimeters or 10 centimeters and this fork actually really good quality so it gives you a really nice smooth ride with uh, better control over your bicycle and because this bicycle comes with a fat tires four inches wide plus a nice front suspension fork it gives you a really smooth ride you will enjoy regardless where you take your bicycle and have good control so it's very important because you don't want to fall and when you're running off-road mostly you need to have a really good control with the bicycle. And I took this bicycle to a few different mountains, different trails, uh, to test the distance, to see how it will handle in the mountains, if there any noise coming from the bicycle. So far I'm impressed. It's very quiet compared to uh, most of the bicycle have a lot of uh, different loose parts. It's very solid, feels real solid, even with a built-in battery. Uh, this bicycle weight about 75 pounds but it's going up hills real light because it has one horsepower so this bicycle has 750 watt 
power motor with up to 1000 peak watt power so it's a pretty powerful bicycle I can tell you and about the distance so the first uh, time I test the battery uh, on and off riding on this bicycle I, I rode about 28 miles in the hills area mostly and it's a really good result I think it's uh, really good for this type of bicycle with the fat tires but later on I took it uh, more for the test and I noticed it can go more further if you use this uh, bike at the same day so and also depend how you use this and how much air pressure you put in your tires so it's all very I cannot give you specific numbers on the mileage nobody gave you if they give you exactly it's, that means they lie to you but I can tell you on average you will get between 25 miles minimum and it can go probably 50 with pedal assist uh, depend on the what uh, pedal assist you'll use uh, I rode in the mountain mostly on the uh, pedal assist uh, level 2 and 3 sometimes uh, 4 because it's pretty fast for the mountain you don't want to ride as fast uh, so that's gonna make difference also depend how much pressure you're gonna put in your tires that also will affect on your distance how far you'll go if you're riding this bicycle in the city you can put more pressure in the tires if you're riding off-road on the sand or snow then you can reduce i believe you can reduce up to six psi uh, i had it i believe in the mountain between 10 to 15 and above so it's all up to you i know that when the more psi you put then the rougher the ride is but still give you really good control and as you can see this road is uh, have a lot of corrosion but it handles really nice it jump over this corrosion like it's a flat surface so i think this bicycle is a beast and if you're looking for a nice bicycle to ride on any conditions powerful or go to work uh, because uh, some bicycle it's not good to ride in the snow or rain with bicycle i would feel it's more comfortable to ride in the snow or in rain because of the stability also you're going up to the hill i think this one is the steepest hill and it's still going up easily again it depends what you're looking for this bicycle not for everyone this is a great bicycle but it's not for everyone for this reason i'll tell you why this bicycle weighs 75 pounds and it's big so if you're looking something to put in your car or take it to the second floor with no eleva elevator then this is probably not your bicycle because it's heavy you can remove the battery so it will reduce your weight to 66 pounds most likely because the battery is 9 pounds but again it's a heavy bike it's a uh, heavy but it's not heavy for this type of bikes but it's a good weight actually because it's all aluminum but if you're looking for something portable then you might consider a foldable bicycle but if you're looking for a good smooth and nice ride then this is the best bicycle you can find for this price range i think and Dirwin bikes are a new company and they're trying to build up a network of local dealers who will offer this bicycle so that's another really positive for people who doesn't like to shop online if you have a local shop you might get the phone number the address post in description and i'll forward this information to dirwin so they can contact this uh, shop and send them the bicycle so you can check it out in your local shop this bicycle uh, have basically no problems to ride out of the box you just pull out put it together very simply you can check the video below it's a, I did assembly of this bike and testing if you're looking something for cheaper then this is not your bicycle because it's much about five six hundred dollars cheaper but again as I said before 
you will have um, a lot of uh, work to do because they come as I saw post I joined to Facebook groups different groups of those companies and I saw a lot of complaints some people happy the way they perform because they never have any other bicycle they happy to ride it because the fat tire bikes are comfortable regardless if you buy cheaper model or not but the only problem is they have uh, different issues and they don't use the uh, quality of parts some of them and uh, you would need to do some adjustment to brakes uh, or you don't get hydraulic brakes then you want to put the hydraulic brakes and it will cost you more money so basically if you're just looking for good decent bike this one is uh, one of the best i can recommend you for 26 inch tires thank you for watching my channel please hit subscribe and like it and i'll see you in the next video see you later